Hi there, Janet with Paper and Spark here. This is the overview and welcome video for the eBay import add-on, which is available for sale at paperandspark.com. And if you are using this eBay import add-on, that hopefully means that you already have a main seller spreadsheet from Paper and Spark. Keep in mind, all of my import add-ons are not made to be used by themselves. As your bookkeeping system, it's supposed to be an add-on to be used with an existing Paper and Spark seller spreadsheet. So maybe you are selling in multiple places and you're just hoping to relatively quickly and easily bring in your eBay sales amounts and all of the different fees that you are subject to as an eBay seller. So I'm gonna show you how to actually import in those eBay CSVs and enter in your fees from the invoice that's not shown on your CSV. Um, and then transfer this information over to your main seller spreadsheet step by step in the next set of videos. But I just wanted to give you a quick feel for how this spreadsheet works. First, your purchase of this eBay import add-on includes the file itself, which does not use any dated formulas. You can use the same file year after year. There's no dates embedded in it. You can use it in Excel, Numbers, or Google Sheets. You also get access to these video tutorials and a Google Doc with step-by-step -step written instructions for how to use the import add-on. If you ever need to download a fresh copy of this file or you can't remember how to access the instructions, either the video links or the Google Doc written instructions, you can always log into your account at paperandspark.com, click on Spreadsheets, and then click on the eBay import add-on if you see it there, if you've previously purchased it on my site, and you'll always find the most up-to-date links for the most up-to-date files and instructions that you may need. If you ever need any help accessing this purchase, or maybe you purchased in my Etsy shop instead of on paperandspark.com, you can email us at support at paperandspark.com with your purchase info, and we'll make sure to get you set up with access. In the following videos, I will walk you through how to import in your CSVs into these tabs down here, how to access them in your eBay seller hub. Um, we'll also talk about how to enter in any remaining fees that are only on your invoice um, and where to find that invoice in your eBay seller hub. And I'll talk you through how to use these sales tax tabs, a little bit about how eBay collects sales tax and a few other things related to using the eBay import add-on. Now in the next set of videos, you will see me importing in from eBay and doing all those steps I just mentioned using the eBay seller spreadsheet, but don't let that confuse you. Um, the steps are exactly the same, whether you're using the eBay seller spreadsheet or the eBay import add-on. Um, so all those steps are still relevant, relevant to you. You may hear me mention the expense tabs along the bottom that you don't have on the import add-on. You will be entering that stuff on whatever your main seller spreadsheet is, so make sure you already have one. And yeah, if you have any questions about anything going forward, reach out to us, email us at support at paperandspark.com. We're here to help you get the most out of your spreadsheet.